The coronavirus outbreak continues to impact all parts of life, including how to memorialize and grieve a loved one who's passed. News Channel 9's Josh Martin explains how people now have to social distance when they attend funeral services. As we continue to navigate the COVID-19 outbreak, time marches on. The circle of life stops for no one, and that's impacting how people say goodbye to their loved ones. The fact that the governor's office hasn't given us a number. Thomas Pirro Jr. has changed the way he helps those grieving with loss. His family's run a funeral home in central New York for generations. But he says he's never seen anything like this pandemic. Uh, right now, we're under the restriction of immediate family. Uh, the governor's office hasn't given us uh, a number as far as what immediate family consists of at this point. We just have to stay, uh, keep our social distance. Piero is turning to technology. Live streaming has been an option for families, but now it's the only way for non-family to watch. Video is better than nothing, but it's still nowhere close to the same. To be able to shake someone's hand who you've known for a long time is, you know, it means a lot. And to be unable to do that, you know, it's, it's heartbreaking. And until our societal situation changes, rooms like this one won't be as full, and grieving the loss of a loved one will be much different for people. Josh Martin, News Channel 9. Funeral homes are giving people an option to have in-person services at a later date, though it's unknown when they'll be able to have those services without the social distancing guidelines.